Right guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today we are doing another theatre vlog and this time I'm going to be talking about the four alphabets I've seen in the West End uh, production of Wicked and I'm going to be talking about my favourite to my least favourite, although I hate using that term because they were all my favourites, but I thought this would be like a different kind of vlog to do and just talk about the different ones and also it's nice to get your opinions as well, so if you've seen Wicked and you disagree do comment down below, dislike, like, whatever, because I would really like to know. Um, so I'm getting ever so distracted by my cat who's attempting to climb over our fence right now. Okay, she's gone. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like I say, I've seen four alphabets, which um, I've been really lucky actually to see four of them because one of them was a cover, so I didn't know at the time I was going to see her. And I'm seeing hopefully many many more alphabets to come in the future a special mention i will say is jessica fosk i've never seen her she's on broadway at the moment but she's my absolute dream alphabet so london please bring her over here because honestly i think if she ever came over here i would be the first person in the theater i absolutely love her I watch videos for her all the time i just think she's absolutely incredible so she's my special mention but in at number four is the very lovely and very talented emma hatton so she was my first alphabet and I hate putting her so low down, it's nothing like against her, but I just think, I don't know, comparing her to the others I've seen, her vocals weren't really as powerful I think as they could have been, and she had a lot of potential because she had an incredible voice and she was so beautiful, and I think that worked against her as well because I remember looking and thinking how is this beautiful girl playing this witch who's portrayed in The Wizard of Oz, which I know is like completely different, but portrayed as almost somebody so ugly, um, I don't, that's, that's incredibly rude of me to say, but she just, she just seemed far too beautiful to play her and just sometimes her, you know, her vocals weren't as powerful, I think Elphaba's a very powerful character, she's got a very strong personality and I think sometimes Emma didn't play her to her full potential, so that's why she's at number four, but she'll always be like special to me because she was my first Elphaba and she did introduce me to the world of Elphaba and the world, world of Wicked as well. So yes, that's why she's number four. So number three. Oh, and Emma I saw, by the way, three times. No, no, I didn't, sorry. Two times, I saw her two times. And my number, my third alphabet is Laura Pick. So Laura Pick was my cover alphabet. Um, I normally check the cast who I'm seeing before I go, but I didn't on this particular occasion. And we went up to the theater, me and my mum, and I saw the cast board. And it said, oh sorry, can I just quickly say excuse the clothing by the way, these are completely my Sunday relaxing clothes. I was, I, I've already filmed this video and I was dressed a lot nicer and then completely just lost the entire video. So I'm quickly filming this now. <laughs> um, so do ignore the, the tracksuits. <laughs> but yeah, so number three, yeah, Laura. So I, I read the cast board and I saw that she was on and I thought, okay, you know, I haven't heard much about her. I'm sure she's going to be great, like I really look forward to seeing her. And I have to say, she was absolutely incredible. She really was. Her acting, especially during As Long As Your Mind, was just out of this world. She just brought the whole stage to life. She really did. She just blew the roof off. And when she sung The Wizard of the Night, I remember, I know it sounds completely daft because it's not a sad song, but I remember crying afterwards because I thought her, her voice was so suited to the song. It's like the song was written for her. Um, I think I put her as number three just because I feel her defying gravity let me down because I knew she could hit that bit like that, that big note. She did it in The Wizard of Night, she proved herself then. But I think in Divine Gravity she was just like a little bit I don't know, I feel she could have I mean she was amazing, but I feel she could have given a lot more. Um but yeah, she was really wonderful and like I say her acting skills were amazing. She was with um, Bradley Jaden at the time they sung As Long As Your Mind and it was almost like they had forgotten the whole audience was there and they weren't characters, these were like real life people you know so that was amazing yeah I loved it I loved seeing Laura and I would have loved to have seen her again but I, I think she's leaving in a couple of weeks I know there's a car change and I don't think she's staying on so she's in at number three so number two is the current Elphaba on the West End which is Alice Firm she is amazing Alice and the first time I saw the whole new cast with her in it the show was wasn't the best to be honest like there was loads of technical issues there was sound issues lighting issues like different things going wrong and obviously it's nothing against the cast but sometimes you couldn't even hear them singing a bit just because of some of these issues and I, I remember just feeling really sorry for everybody in the audience who had seen Wicked for the first time who had to base their experience on Wicked on that performance because 
you know, I've seen it so many times and I knew then like there were so many issues, but others might not have known that. But I remember in that particular show, she came out singing No Good Deed, which is after the interval. And I genuinely wanted to like jump out of my seat. It was absolutely incredible. She sung it with such force and such anger and such power and so much emotion. And I just thought, this has made the whole show worthwhile. Like now I'm gonna leave so happy and just can't, literally couldn't wait to go back. And it's really interesting because my mum didn't like the way she sung it. My mum thought she was too angry. When I think that worked really, really well, I think the anger did work. Because if you think of No Good Deed, it's a song where she's literally just lost everybody. And she's singing that because she's so angry because she's lost everything, everyone she's loved. And I think Alice delivered it in a way I've never seen it be delivered before. I've never seen it be portrayed before. So yeah, she was very good. And I've seen her, um, so two, three... I've seen her four times and I've seen her again in a couple of weeks, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, so Alice is my number two. I, also, she's leaving as well, which is really sad. Everybody's leaving. My number one is probably my favourite elf but ever. Like, I don't think anybody could ever top her. And it's um, Bill Mifer Kai. I know different pronunciations of the first name, so sorry if I've completely just mucked that up. <laughs> she was the first elf bar I saw after Emma Hatton and I remember me and my mum went to a restaurant beforehand and I remember saying to my mum, what if she's not as good as El uh, Emma, I, I'm probably not even going to like her, I don't know anything about her, I knew she'd been in Wicked before and left and come back um, due to an injury, but I was just, I don't know, I was so nervous about seeing her live and I just remember after the show saying to my mum, right when are we going again? <laughs> because it was amazing, it was so incredible and she, I think she made Elphaba. She is the one to me that I look now and I think Elphaba was made for her. And she has left a little bit of her in Elphaba and I think for years to come I'll always look and think, oh yeah, oh my this, oh my that. Her singing, her acting, just everything about it. The emotion she brung, brung, the brung, sorry, the power. I really can't find one negative thing to say about Vilma. She did Wicked for 10 years. She did it in five countries, four languages, or four countries, five languages, one of those. But yeah, she did it for 10 years, and I think it helped a lot that she had that experience of knowing what the audience liked and didn't like to bring to the show. But every time I saw her as Alphaba, she was always different. Like she, it, it was never the same thing. She always put a little twist on the cycle, or, or did different riffs, or acted something differently. Um, so that's why I, I love Vilmai so much, and I always won. I was absolutely gutted when she left. Very fortunate to meet her at the stage door. She was very lovely, although in a rush because so many people were waiting for her. She was very, very lovely. Hello. That's my cat. Um, I'm going to move the camera on to her in a minute. So yeah, so she's my number one. So that's it. That's all the Elphabas I've seen. I know in like the next two months I'm going to be seeing somebody completely different when Alice leaves. But... Also, this is no hate to any of the girls I've mentioned, like any Emma fans, please don't come at me because I absolutely love her and I think she is amazing and adorable and she's so beautiful and she can sing amazing. I just had to put her as number four because somebody had to go there. But that, that is basically it. So my next week's uh, video is going to be my review on my Glinders. I've also seen, how many Glinders have I seen? I've seen four Glinders as well. Um, so I'm going to be doing my top four Glinders that I've seen, which I'm really excited about. And just quickly as well, I have got a vlog coming out next week, and I'll probably mention this again in next week's video because I've always, like, I'll probably forget if I've mentioned it or not. I'm actually going to take a little break uh, from YouTube in that my videos won't be as, like, consistent as I would like them to be. I wanted them to be every week, but I'm super busy at the moment. Like, I, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know, or Twitter, I'm spending literally every weekend filming at the moment. I'm making something which is really excited excited I can't even talk sorry sorry I'm making something which is really exciting and uh, hopefully it's gonna be out on my channel in August if not it'll be September but that's pretty much taken up all of my free time and I'm really excited to share it with you guys and I literally cannot wait so as lovely as that is to do it is taking my time away from doing vlogs like this but I am also going to see everybody's talking about Jamie again in 25 days <laughs> and I'm gonna be vlogging that because it's Leighton and I've never seen him and I'm absolutely beyond excited to see Leighton finally and it's Shane Ritchie's last show so I'll definitely be vlogging that. I am seeing Wicked again 
in just a little over a month for my birthday and I've got something really exciting happening then as well when I go so I'll be vlogging about that and then I'm seeing Hugh Jackman so I'll be vlogging about him but other than that it's going to be very even when I upload you guys probably won't even notice so so that's pretty much it for me um I really hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching take care of yourself guys and I will see you next week hopefully less awkward I'm just gonna quickly show you pumpkin because that's my cat and she is named after my channel my instagram page so <laughs> i've got to do a special little mention for her <laughs> that's pumpkin right see you soon